Look at these images. All these advertisement images have something in common. Did you observe? Well, if you observe, all the people in these advertisements have a fair skin tone. Why are we not seeing any dark skin people in any of these advertisements? Not only in beauty ads, even in mobile phone advertisements and even in college advertisements. Why are we seeing colorism and racism even now everywhere? Have you ever thought about why Fair and Lovely changed their brand name to Glow and Lovely? Why most of us are always obsessed about fairness? How did the western market influence countries like India to run behind this? Well, this is Nivipedia. Let's dig into this. Indian fairness cream market is very big, beyond your imagination. It is estimated that by the end of 2023, the fairness cream market will reach the revenue of more than 5,000 crores. Also, a 2014 marketing study found that 90% of the Indian girls cite skin lightening as a high need. Initially focused on Indian women, now the fairness cream market also started targeting Indian men. Products marketed to men promise to fight sweat give a fairer skin tone and even attract women. Oh my god! Wow! Trust me guys, that will never work out. Look at this ad. This is what usually we see in most of the fairness cream ads. First, we will see a person with a dull face and a low self-esteem. Then, we will see another person with a bright and fair skin being more confident, advising the former to use that fairness cream. After that, they will display the changes in the skin tone like a deck of cards. First of all, in which way confidence and self-esteem is related to skin tone. Stop it. Get some help. And moreover, they promise to make you fairer, more attractive and more successful, all with a swipe of a cream. If you are a UPSC aspirant or if you want to become a collector, you need not prepare for the exams. Mm. See what you should do. I want to a collector. I don't want to work from the study. I have to face the interview. Yes, I know. Do you want to Instead of buying lots of books for the preparation, buy loads of fair and lovely. Be smart. <laughs> Now watch this. Shah Rukh Khan is one of the most celebrated actors in India. And we all know that his hard work lifted him in his career. And that is why he is called the King Khan of Bollywood. But he is giving all the credits to the fairness cream which was not even launched when he was giving all the hit movies in his career. Not just fairness creams promote racism, even bathing soaps. Many bathing soaps are advertised promising to give us a fair and white skin. Bro, making something bite is the purpose of a detergent soap. Have you ever seen this color crayon? What do you call this color? Many kids are asked to call this as skin color. Even I used to do when I was a kid. But why not these colors are told as skin colors? Before knowing more about the problems faced by Indian women due to colorism, please subscribe my channel so that it will motivate me to do more videos on YouTube. As Indians, we start to believe that white is the ideal skin tone from our childhood. Indians' love for white skin traces its root back to the colonial era. When the British ruled India, the lighter skin was considered superior and associated with high social status, while darker skin was associated with poverty. After independence, the idea of fairness continued to be glorified in the Indian society and the beauty industry started capitalizing it by introducing fairness creams. Fair and Lovely was the first introduced fairness cream in India by Hindustan Unilever Limited in 1975. In the year 2020, they changed its name to Glow and Lovely due to years of criticism for promoting that fair skin is necessary for success and acceptance in society. This name change was not only because of the criticisms, it was also due to the new rule imposed by the government of India in 2014. In 2014, Advertisement Standard Council of India rolled out a charter which prohibited cosmetic brands from communicating any discrimination based on skin color through advertising. The guidelines further stated that no brands can use post-production visual effects to exaggerate product efficacy as well. Niacinamide is the main ingredient in Fair and Lovely and many other fairness creams which is said to whiten the skin. 
So just dropping fair from fair and lovely doesn't erase racism because India has diversity even in skin colors but these companies never consider this diversity and this totally depends upon the genes cultures and the environment some states in india especially in the south have a greater number of dark skin people comparatively and even now it's very common that if someone sees a dark skin person he or she is assumed to be from a particular state or region shouldn't this be stopped because every skin is beautiful in its own way and skin tone doesn't have anything to do with being successful in life but even rajinikanth the most celebrated actor promotes about the urge to become fair in his movie shivaji the boss and women face even more problems if they are dark skinned as the mothers of every man want him to marry a fairer skinned woman now some of you may think that i'm wearing makeup and talking about colorism but wearing makeup and the urge to become fair are totally different things makeup is a form of self expression and it is temporary and it can be removed at the end of the day or the occasion and it is just to enhance one's natural features otherwise why would women from western countries who have naturally fair skin should wear makeup also this is totally a personal choice but on the other hand the urge to become fair is mainly due to social pressure but even wearing makeup doesn't help this stereotypical society adores only white skin even some famous talented dark skin female actresses for example nandita das and bipasha basu who are really talented or not getting valued much either they have to try hard to make their skin white or they have to leave the field or they end up getting labeled as actors who are only suitable to act in avatar targeted movies and not in mainstream movies this has reached to an extent that in 2016 Tanishka Chatterjee who acted in the movie Parched gets trolled for her dark skin on a national TV show. The embarrassed actress walked out of the show for being bullied. Later on the channel apologized for that issue. Like this in India many are getting discriminated in many ways but we post black lives matter on Twitter. What an irony. Damn! But now it is appreciable that many measures are being taken to overcome this. Kavita Emanuel, the founder of Women of Worth, an Indian NGO, is standing up against this bias towards lighter skin. She launched a campaign called The Dark is Beautiful in 2009. It is not anti-white, but it is against the toxic beliefs of white skin superiority. The campaign includes counseling services for the victims of these discriminations. Even Priyanka Chopra, who is considered as an international beauty icon, regrets now for having acted in fairness cream commercials. These fairness creams, instead of making us fairer, damage our skin to an unimaginable extent. Because skin lightening creams often aim to interrupt the production of melanin. They can contain natural ingredients such as soy, liquor ice or arbutin. sometimes combined with the medical lightening agent hydroquinone this hydroquinone is a potentially carcinogenic ingredient and products containing it are banned or restricted in many countries including south africa japan australia etc another hazardous ingredient is mercury mercury suppresses the production of melanin but it can also damage the kidneys and brain if it is absorbed by the skin and accumulates in the body and many creams are in fact a dangerous cocktail of steroids and tretinoin The long term use of these can lead to health concerns like permanent pigmentation, skin cancer, liver damage and mercury poisoning among other things. Recently, government of India proposed a law to ban fairness cream promotions, but it is still in discussion and it will ever continue to be in discussion because of the lobbying of these multinational companies. At least let us take the initiative and teach our next generation about color ethnicity. With all this being said, still some may have obsession towards fair skin what is the reason for this long lasting obsession towards fair skin and what can be done to eradicate this comment below and if you like this video please hit the like button so that i'll do more videos like this 